One of the good kings that ruled in God's land was Josiah. He obeyed what God planned. The priest in the temple, while searching, he saw a scroll that was lost. It was full of God's law. It was read to the people. They all took heed. Let's live God's way, they all agreed. God's prophet Jeremiah began to preach. You've broken God's law, he did clearly teach. They smashed the false gods, turned to God in part. But it was only their words, it wasn't their heart. The good king Josiah was wounded and died. Jehoiakim was next, full of sin and pride. Jeremiah kept on preaching, pointing out their wrong. They should turn to God in worship and song. If they failed to do so, it would be too late one day. They would be taken captive to Babylon, carried away. Jeremiah's scribe wrote all that God said in a scroll. The words were not heeded, they'd now take their toll. The scroll was given to Jehoiakim the king. He didn't like what he read. He hated the thing. He cut the scroll up and threw on the fire. He wouldn't listen to the words of Jeremiah. The king went his own way, he didn't want to listen. He paid a tribute with temple things that did glisten. The Babylonians let Jehoiakim sit on his throne. But they were in charge, he didn't rule on his own. He switched sides, he had a change of heart. He'd side with the Egyptians, he thought he'd be smart. For a while it worked, but then, oh what a pity. The Babylonians came and surrounded the city. The siege it went on, they were in for the long haul. Jehoiakim died and he was thrown from the wall. All of his scheming, well, it just did no good. He could have listened, you know that he should. Jeremiah's prophecy came true that day. 10,000 captives were taken away. We wouldn't cut up or burn God's word, but it's possible to ignore what we've heard. David asked God, show me your ways. This is what we should ask in all of our days. In God's word, the Bible, his instructions he's given. It tells us of God's love and how we can be forgiven. But if we ignore it, in our sin we'll remain. So trust now in Jesus, who for our sin was slain. <laughs>